What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Infinite Disc 2021 Beehive Classic. I am Sean Swap, and I'm joined by the 2021 Junior World Champion, Cade Filmahala. Cade, let's get right into it. Tell us about hole one. Hole one is 398 feet. Uh, you can attack this one with a hyzer backhand for the righties, or you could uh, go forehand. Uh, the preferred play is usually a forehand, especially with this win today. I like this hole. It's a good lefty hole. But we got Alex Twos on the T team on the T sponsoring Team Infinite. Yeah, he's going hyzer here. This is a this is a pretty good play. We had a little right to left wind, but uh, it's pretty safe if you just get it high enough. When you say a little right to left wind, you'll know what I mean when we get a few holes into this, because <laughs> we're not joking. That's a great shot. Yeah, that's Put a. Like circle's edge there. Yeah, that's fantastic with that hyzer. All hyzer at 400 feet is pretty good. This is Kessler Martin, uh, one of the best pros in Utah. He's, uh, oh, he's excited there. <laughs> but I think he's also going the hyzer route. Yeah, going or Halo Destroyer. Hyzer into the tree route. <laughs> <laughs> a little tight there, gets a pretty good break, kicks out. He's got like a 60, 70 footer. And this is all the way from San Diego, sponsored by Latitude 64, Clint Calvin. Fun fact, Clint Calvin parked his van on the side of my house and uh, got to know him pretty well. Good times, but he's looking like looking at the hyzer rat out the outside too. This looks really good. This is wide enough here. Right to left's gonna crash it in. Let's see, oh, yep, yeah. right through there. It's perfect to get, yeah. a, to get stop on that hill. It's pretty tough to get to stop right there. Yeah, that's more power than I've got, I'll tell you that. But here we go. Who, who's this guy? <laughs> who's this guy? Uh, this is... This is this is this you, is, Cade. This, this, is, this, is, this is, is you. Me. This is Cade Phil This is Cade. And if you guys have never seen Cade play, he he's about as humble as you'll be, but he's got crushing power, and you'll see that as we get through this. That, that shot is 400 feet all hyzer. These guys have amazing power. Here's Kessler laying up his approach. He kind of got caught up in those trees. Cave, yeah. get, <laughs> getting a putt out of the way. Yeah, glad to knock that one in. There's a little left to right, kind of dropped it down. Oh yeah. Well, a little low for Alex, Alex there. Clint's got about 20, 25 here. There's pretty strong wind at this point. There's about 15 to 20 miles per hour left to right there. Oh. So. Oh, this basket's nestled up on a perch. Kate, I remember a time when we played this when you were like a few years younger and you had some same rollaways. Yeah, yeah, this is a, it's a little bit more slope than it looks here on camera, so it's definitely easy to get a rollaway or oh. air ball and go past just outside the left. Just didn't, that wind's more than it looks like right now, and it's just only getting stronger. So Clint will walk away with the bogey. Alex tapping in the par. Kessler is going to tap in his par. So you're going to take a lead on the card, hole one. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare birdie for me. I usually miss that hyzer, but glad to get it there. Yeah. Yeah, Clint, Clint uh, his putting's usually a lot better than that. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see that come along here. What's hole two like? Hole two, this is uh, 704 feet, dog leg left, par four. Uh, the play is usually going to be to hang one out to the right, not get too close to the trees on the left, and then throw another hyzer into the basket. And you've got the box here. What are you What are you throwing here? Uh, I'm going with my destroyer here, just trying to hang it out wide and uh, kind of get it to hyzer back. You had a good right to left, so it was kind of carrying our hyzers. If you've got Cade Philomahala power, then this hole works out pretty good. It's a difficult hole. It's one of the hardest holes oh, for on sure. the course. Yeah. It's mainly the second shot is the issue here. Alex is, looks pretty good. It's a hair tight, but... If you've got average yeah. human arm like I do, then you can play a shot just up that net right there, and it, there's a small gap to cut across. That's my only shot at birdie, but these guys are superhuman arms, I like to say. <laughs> yeah, Kessler got this one wide enough, it looks like. Yeah, it's perfect. That's a good spot. He might have that short gap, but I, I don't know. There's a short gap right at the end of the net. That's what I shoot for. And here's Clint. He's got to make up for that bogey. You know that's what he's thinking. He's going hyzer too. That looks great. Looks pretty good. It's got the height. Let's see where it comes down here. Just around there it it. Is. Perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect position to shot. 
I mean, you've got some trees to go over, but he's he's got he's got the oh he's going big spike hyzer. Yes, yeah, the common play if you don't have much of a gap, you can just go straight up and straight down. It's about 30 to 40 short there. Alex looks like he's in a good spot too. You guys are making this hole look easy. Like this was <laughs> this hole like for the amateurs like definitely averaged a lot higher. Yeah, that's in the hazard right there. Just left a little wide. So this this is taking place at Schneider's Bluff Golf Course in West Point, Utah, and there's a long cut of uh, rough grass throughout the whole course, and it plays as a hazard. So there's different spots. So if you see him standing in the long cut of rough, then they're playing a hazard. They're playing it where it is from a stroke penalty. So here's Clint for his birdie putt. Nailed God, it. sheesh. Dude, he can't hit the ones inside the circle, but you give him something outside and he'll slam it. Now yeah, just oh, lifts wow. for me. Yeah, that wind's kicking up. That was what into a headwind. Yeah, headwind. Like. Yeah, Clinton had a little tail in there, but still amazing. He was about sixty out, I think. Kessler coming up just a little bit short. Good bid. And here's Alex. This is that long grass you're talking about, but he's really got the wind starting to pick up here. Mm -hmm. So he's looking for his, to save a par right here out of the hazard. Oh, oh sit. Just off the top of the basket. That was a good bid. He's got this right to left wind coming back. This is not an easy putt. Yeah, oh, just man. just off. It was pretty tough at this point. We had about 30 plus mile per hour winds at this point, so even these little tap ins were not gimmies. There you go. That was for par, wasn't it, kid? Yep. And you got Alex is gonna clean up his six here. Said even these little ten footers aren't are no joke in this mm -hmm. wind. I'm sure Kessler's thrilled to have a tap in par at this hole <laughs> at this wind. So Clint back to even and Cade, you you saved your par. We're going with that. And uh Alex kind of took the double bogey there. And now you're gonna see what we're talking about. Tell us about hole three real quick. Uh, this is a uh, 712 feet. Uh, you're going across the water, and you got kind of this island thing across. Uh, this is one that you want to get a lot of distance off the tee because in this wind, your approach is uh, it's not very easy with this uh, tight green. Yeah, you can see the guys here. They're <laughs> this wind really kicked up at this point. You can see that all you can see is dust. Look at that. The trees are just chucking. Yeah, at this point it was pretty hard to see, let alone throw a good shot. <laughs> I was actually standing here by the catch cam guy at this point, and you just couldn't see where that disc was flying. <laughs> he did an incredible job to even track that down. Yeah, I believe that was Clint's rive, and that thing just flipped straight over. And this is, it's a little bit right to left, but it's also a little bit headwind at this point, too. Yeah, yeah, it's its mostly headwind almost here, so I'm going Halo Destroyer, trying to keep it not, I'm trying to keep it uh, low and not let it flip over, and this one even flips over a little bit. You can't even tell what's going on yeah. there. Here's Kessler trying to just keep it safe. Kessler, that's his Halo Destroyer there too. This one gets a little, little turned over here. Yeah, he's, he's on the right side. He's looking right. <laughs> yeah, he's on the right side. And here's Alex. He's excited for that. <laughs> I'm sure he's taking something stable as well. Yeah, I think this is uh, Emperor here. Yep. Huge and spike hyzer there. Uh, you can't see a thing. <laughs> yeah, I believe his uh, kind of turns over as well. And neither can he see a thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there saying he cannot see where it went. Nobody knows where yeah. it went. Hey, looks like Kessler found it. He's in some grass. This is, he's trying to lay up here on the left side. This is a good play if you can't uh, reach it across. And this at this point, going across would be like throwing at 600 feet. So Yeah, there's OB pretty tight play. on the right side. You can see that cart path. That's kind of the, the line of OB. Mm -hmm. And then there's OB long of it too. So to try and land that in there with this wind would just be incredible. Yeah, the grass is pretty skippy too. So even... Just putting one there is impressive, let alone letting it, having it stick. Kate, are you going for this? No, I'm just going Firebird, trying to lay up to the left. This is a, my most overstable glow Firebird. That's a smart play. 
Yeah, just trying to get it out there. That's pretty good. Alex might be looking at it here. He's thinking about it. <laughs> He's going forehand. This this is not a bad play. If he can land out wide enough to bring it back. Let's he look, he look turned a little bit. It's not too bad. Let's see if Kessler can get Kessler close. going back to that destroyer. This is hanging right. That cart path is that OB line, and that is OB. So Clint's seeing what he can do. Get Sit. there. Oh, right on the edge. Just makes it over the water. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to death with that in this win. Sit. Settle. And you got Alex. He saw one go OB long, and the other Clint's almost hit the water. That's a great layup. Yeah, I was glad to be able to put it that close and not have much of a, a putt left. That's a good stick for a par. Kessler from drop from his OB, he's just going to put that under the basket. No sense in trying to do anything crazy there. That was an amazing putt from that, Alex. That's a great putt. <laughs> left to right wind. So he took a three there. Mm -hmm. Clint's got this left for Sorry, par. He took a four. He parred that. Got That's it. a great par save as well. Nice putt there with that right to left. Clint really likes playing these courses at Schneider's Bluff. We've got two courses here. This one is the front Prodiscus course. Prodiscus being the course sponsor. Shout out to them. They're awesome. And then we've got, you'll see on round two, you'll see the uh, Yakun back course. But not a lot of damage. And Kessler, he didn't, he didn't like that one so much. He, he double bogeyed that one with the wind and the OB, but it's not too bad. What we got for hole four? Uh, this next hole is uh, 384 feet. Yeah, you got this tree on the right that prevents you from going big hyzer, so everyone's kind of going straight at it and just trying to get a soft fade back to the left. And common theme here, Clint's got the box. So, fun fact, Clint is good. Yeah, just throwing that out there. He's so smooth. Like, even in a wind like this, he's got the same routine, the same approach. He keeps it the same. Mm hmm. Sunglasses fell off there. Well, testing the wind. This one, we had a little tail right to left. Is this your rock? No, this is my pig. I'm trying to go pig oh, to a. Uh, pig! keep it from going over the fence here and I still find the fence almost a 385 foot hole and he's throwing pig <laughs> <laughs> that's Cade for you let's see what Alex got up his sleeve looks like some sort of a fairway looks like the winds getting a little not as bad as it was the last hole. This looks pretty yeah, good. This is good and low. It just needs a few skips to get over there. Oh, kind of got caught. That, the grass at the bluff isn't like other golf courses. The grass at the bluff does not give you skips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a Kessler's Thunderbird, I believe. He's going, uh, yeah, laying it out to the right, letting the wind bring it back. Oh, yeah, see? Nice. Just that's a baby nice. skip there. That's a great shot. I'll give him a good putt. Clint, he must have turned his over pretty good. He's pretty far out yeah, there Yeah, Clint's still. got about 100 left. Jump putts underneath. He's pretty close. Here's Alex from deep. Decent bit with that wind. Oh, and you're kind of up against that fence yeah, there. Yeah, I'm pretty pinched. I take my meter. Got a little headwind comebacker. That'll work. I've been I've been against that tree many times. You just, <laughs> need any tips there, you just come talk to me. Kessler. Oh. oh my gosh. That was his for birdie. So he'll be cleaning up a par. Almost down. You're getting your par. Barely sticks left side, but. Alex for his par. Got Kessler for his par now. Yeah, this, this wind is uncharacteristic of the bluff. You'll get winds at the bluff in the evenings every now and then, but nothing like what we saw at this tournament. It was unbelievable. Yeah, this is crazy. So we saw a lot of pars there. Did we get a star par? I believe so. This next hole is uh, 354 feet. 
Um, there's a backdoor uh, hyzer route on the right side, and then you can also go uh, on the left side and kind of hyzer it back. But the left side, you, you're carrying uh, the hazard the whole time, so it's a little bit more risky. That's my jam for a left-handed thrower like myself. <laughs> high risk, high reward. Clint's going wide here. This is this is really, really wide. Not stabling up. Get off. Oh, he's on that golf green. He oh. finds the green. Bad. It did come back in. I don't know if you guys gave him that spot or not, but we'll find out. That's a big hyzer. And that's a fantastic shot. That's what, 15 feet? Yeah, that was a, that was a good shot with that wind. I was surprised to see it land that close. You just, you just showed Alex the, the <laughs> line, man. Alex is going a little lower here. Probably not a bad play in the wind. No. Did he just barely oh. stuck in the hazard. Sheesh. So he'll be taking his stroke. Yep. Kessler going back to that destroyer. This looks a little higher yeah, than Alex's. Pretty is. high for the wind. Oh, just he right just on that caught corner. that. It kind of just sticks out right there at the last point. Yeah, this is Clint finding out he was OB. He doesn't look too thrilled about that. He threw that pretty quick. Yeah. This is for the par save here. That green OB oh. doesn't really come into play too often with normal wind. No. Kessler just outside the circle, but in the hazard. This is for par. <sighs> putting. I think what we've learned is that putting in the wind is hard. I think we can. I think we can come to that conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting my mortar here, just trying to keep it. Oh. Down and that comes what right back. What just happened? <laughs> was that was that a little high? Yeah, it might have been a little high. I, I I putted it pretty hard. We had a little we had a little crosswind. I just wanted to fire oh, it in there man. and. That was a lot of came back to out. bounce straight back. Yeah. Well, you got a birdie. I mean, a par. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry to rub that in your wound. <laughs> My bad. So you still, you're still you still sitting one under. With getting through the wind like that, that's probably pretty good. Clint's not going to be thrilled with his one over right now. And uh, Alex and Kessler are hanging on with three over and four over through the wind. So hopefully this gets a little better. I don't think we have a flyover for this one, but tell us about hole six. Uh, this hole's uh, 318 feet. It's, uh, it's a low ceiling shot. This is a... Uh... It's one of the more unique shots on the course. You got to go low with like a, a fairway driver or a driver just to get the distance here. I'm going banshee, and that just turned over too much. And it's, kinda... For being 300 feet, it's a hard hole. Yeah. It's it's a tunnel you got to hit with a low ceiling, which for being a golf course, you don't see a lot of that out there on golf. It's not just wide open. It's mm -hmm. tough. Clint trying to get the turn. Oh, that looks amazing. Boy. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> it's a hard, hard hole. Yeah, yeah. You rarely see this hole parked, let alone someone putting it two feet away. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you see a lot of pars on this hole. There's a lot of early trees hit and some scrambles, but to mm -hmm. get right by the basket like Clint did was that's pretty amazing. Yep. Guess we're going uh, FD. What line did he just find? <laughs> he turned it over <laughs> a little bit, and it, I think it got through. That's insane. That that's not the the usual line. No, but it worked. No, yeah, you rarely see two people parked on this. So that's that's crazy. I birdied it once. Does that mean anything? <laughs> oh no! <sighs> Alex just smashed that tree right in front of him. Got to go to a knee to get under this next tree. It's a tough putt in this wind. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's so good. Alex is a really good putter. He is a really good It's fun to watch Alex putt. Yeah, especially when he's from a knee or straddling. He's he's really good when he's out of position. He's smooth. Mm-hmm. You saving your uh, par there, cleaning it up. Clint, yeah. just, you know, drop in birdie. Kessler with his bird. Well, that was a good hole. Really good. So you're still at one under. Clint, yeah. he's back to even. He's gonna he's fixing to catch you there. Yeah, he's catching up here. We got a uh, hole seven. This is a uh, 365 feet. Uh, the play for most people is you can go kind of a, a straighter hyzer or you can go wide hyzer around this big tree. Uh, that's probably what most of us are gonna be that doing here. That white tree. You going outside of that? 
you can um, in this wind it was a uh, pretty uh, it was pretty big right to left so there's a few people doing it Clint's going up the middle here just outside the circle there's a lot of blue lines painted nice and deep mm-hmm we had some volunteers that went a little paint heavy but it looked great okay so <laughs> Kessler's going inside We'll skip. Oh, Kessler's starting to feel it. It's a great shot right there. Kessler's get inside the circle. The, the, tr the hard part on this hole is the, the tee shot right there. That tree on the right, I feel like it's right in the hyzer line. Yeah. Like right where yeah. you would want to put it. So you almost have to go put it straighter first. Yep. And then you don't get the skip because it's the bluff. And the bluff doesn't like the skip. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this tree, it makes you either go really, really wide hyzer or up the middle. So it's kind of... Everyone's kind of throwing a line that they're not quite comfortable with. See, and you, if you were somewhere like in Vegas, you would expect a skip, but it's just not there. Yeah. You guys walk fast. <laughs> Alex, Here's, got a little jumper here. He's going to have this tree to contend with. These trees are kind of low. Looks like he had a gap, yeah. Yeah. It's a good bid. Not bad. Let's see if you can keep your keep your lead on Clint just a little bit here. Because he's right outside that circle for the pot. Is that mom filling the hall in the background there? That is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ran that a little a little aggressively. Well, that's right where the headwind was coming too, so yep. that's a little tricky. Yeah. Clint just over the top there. Yeah, I got about 25 feet left here. This is theme of the day. Putting <laughs> in the wind is hard. Yeah. I think you got a tailwind putt at this point, though. That looked yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that was a little easier with that tailwind. If Clint can match that. And he does. Pop. Is this Kessler's birdie? This is. Is this for birdie? Oh, oh no. Just lifts oh, it. No. Yeah, he had a little right to left headwind there. It looked like it lifted it at the last yeah. second. That body language did not look like he was thrilled with that putt. Mm -mm. Alex will clean up his par. Well, the wind is proving to be an issue. Definitely an issue. Yeah, it's definitely becoming a factor on the putts for sure. And on Granted, few of our there, drives. there were some other holes in this course that people were caught on in the wind that were even worse than what you guys got. So I think you're doing okay so far. Yeah, yeah. This is a hole eight. Uh, the main play is a sidearm. That's how you want to access the basket for the most part. There is a backdoor hyzer, but it's not taken very often. And it's one of the shorter holes, so it yep. feels like it's a must get almost. Mm -hmm. It's this basket's perched on the hill, and you can kind of play a sidearm into the hill and get it to stop pretty easily so looks like he's just outside the circle a lot of these baskets here are on kind of on the hills keeping with the bluff theme you know that's kind of fun mm -hmm. but you'll see some rollaways on a lot of these as we did on hole one with clint is kessler going to hyzer or is he just going to turn it i think he's got his nova oh, here that's right he's going to go smooth turnover I couldn't tell where that went. Apparently Kinda, the cameraman couldn't either. Yeah. He's just inside the circle there. What are you forehand in here? Uh, I'm going uh, Sexton Firebird here. It's a little straighter, just trying to get it to hold straight and then dump in. Well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I juiced that one a little bit. Inside yeah. the circle, though. Backside. And the wind finally looks like it's kind of dying down some. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a freak windstorm. It just blew in and blew out. The problem, as you see later, though, it kind of slowed the play up big time. And so we pushed everything back. So you'll see that coming up later in the round. There's Alex with the forehand. I think that's the scepter. That was a great shot right there. Oh, yeah. I love the scepter. That's a good disc. Let's see if we can, uh, Clint can finish off with the birdie here. Oh, there's a good putt. That was great. It's a good putt after his miss on the last one. Good confidence booster there. Well, now you got to get this to stay a stroke ahead of him. Yeah. 
Oh! Yeah, just left side. Not too happy about that. There wasn't too much wind, so I felt like that was one of the easier putts I've had. Clint being the tour room pro he is, he's smelling blood in the water, kid. He's coming for you. Yeah. That didn't, I don't know what he was doing there. Alex kind of didn't get much on it there. Oh. So Kessler really is a good putter. He really is, but this wind is playing havoc with these putts. Mm -hmm. He's not having his best putting day. Yeah, he's been right around the basket all day. I think he's, I think he's been feeling it. He's just not dropping, so hopefully he can figure that out. <laughs> so Clint walked away with the birdie, and everyone else looks like they parred, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, at this point, we kind of had a backup a little bit, too. So get some fun footage of a backup. <laughs> well, here we go. He's caught you. Clint's got you. He's, he's looking at you. Yep. Okay, this is hole nine. Uh, this is 344 feet. You got this long grass hazard in the middle, and that cart path is OB beyond. So this is a pretty tight hole. Uh, most of us, most people are going for it. Uh, there's a little layup zone to the right, but... Uh, the play for most people is just to hyzer out to the right side and having it drop in. Now, if there's any wind left, it'd be a left to right, so it could just kind of beat it down a bit for you. Yep. It's a great shot from Clint. Uh, that's parked. That's parked. Kessler, I'm sure he's going the hyzer as well. Mm -hmm. These trees, if you come off a little early, it can kind of eat it up. Luckily, oh, it's yep. the outside of the cart path that's the OB, not the inside. So that's good. Yep, that's safe right there. He's, he's towing, towing the line a little bit. Yeah, I'm going pig here, trying to, trying to keep it low and not let it get up too high. It's ridiculous where you throw this pig. <laughs> That looks fantastic. Yeah, wind dropped that one pretty good. I would assume Alex is going something stable as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's throwing here, but he's throwing it pretty wide, so I'd imagine it's pretty stable. Yeah, that's a great shot that's as well. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see if Kessler can get one back here. He's about maybe just under 40 feet. Mm-hmm. And he hits the cage. He drops there at the last second. We had a Man. little tailwind. And oh. Alex, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the wind was still there at this point. Yeah, it's, you can see those trees moving. That's a good birdie. Yeah, that's a, that's a good feeling birdie to get. Especially. I don't think he had gotten one since hole one. So. Yeah, yeah. That's good, to, but to go through all those holes clean with uh, the wind the way it was, that's that's a feat in its own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kessler. staying in bounds is, uh, at this point is pretty good. Yeah, and we'll find out on the next hole that that can be tough to do. <laughs> good tap in. Alex tapping in his three there. Well, that's, that's the first half of round one. Uh, we'll be back for the second half of round two coming up.